Now that we have understood what significant figures are, uh, we'll uh, now look at some of the rules on how to propagate the significant figures in the operands to my final answer. So in this class, we will be looking at what happens to significant figures when I do multiplication and division with quantities which have defined number of significant figures. So here is, let's just exam, uh, start with a simple example. Let's say that I am multiplying 1 with 1.2. Okay, and this 1.2 might be, let's just say that this is centimeter and this is the measured quantity and this is also a measured quantity. Let's say that this is also centimeter. So maybe these are the two sides of a rectangle and we are trying to compute the area. So both of them are measured quantities. None of them are actually constant. Uh, and the final answer you would say is of course 1.2. There is no doubt in that. Uh, but the thing here, the rule when we are doing the propagation of uh, measured quantities, of, of significant figures from measured quantities during multiplication, the rule says that the final answer would take on the number of significant figures from the operand with least number of significant figures. Okay. So what do I do in case of multiplication? I find the operand with least number of significant figures. In this case, I have two operands. This has two significant figures. This has just one. So I take that operand. And I say that because the operand with least number of significant figures has only one significant figure, my final answer would have only one significant figure. So this has to have only one significant figure. So I'll do the rounding operation, which we have discussed in another class, and my answer will come out to be one centimeter square. So that is what this rule says. When we are doing multiplication and division, the result takes on the, the same number of significant figures as the operand with least number of significant figures. And this is a, a simple example to illustrate this. Now let's just take on another example. Now let's say that I have the circumference of the circle. I need to find a circumference of circle whose radius has been given as 1.12 centimeters. So as you can clearly see, this particular radius, it has three significant figures. That is very clearly understood. Now, the first thing which some of the students might get confused is that they might think that my final answer needs to have only one significant figure because this 2 here has only one significant figure. That would be completely, completely incorrect. And why is that? Because this 2 is actually a constant and constants in a formula have infinite precision. We just assume that they can take on infinite number of significant figures, as many significant figures as necessary. So they might become this 2 can be written as 2.000 or 0, 0, 0, 0, how many zeros, right? I can increase the number of significant figures to whatever I like, whatever is necessary. Okay, here, of course, I don't really need to go beyond three significant figures because R has only three. Okay, and similarly, the similar thing goes for pi. I, I, I can just increase the number of significant figures in pi so that it is not the limiter, so that these two and this pi are not the limiters in my uh, in, det in, in determining the number of significant figures in the final answer. So in the final answer, the number of significant figures will only be determined by the variables, the measured quantities in my formula. And the measured quantity here, of course, is just R. Therefore, the final operand would take on three significant figures. Okay, that is the that is the crux, 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 crux of this matter here, that constants and constants uh, like two constants like pi uh, do not limit the number of significant figures in the answer. So if you compute this, if you were to compute this, this would come out to be, okay. But of course, we need to limit this to only three significant figures. So only till here and we do the proper rounding and this comes out to be 7.04 centimeter. Okay, so very, very simple. Now let's take on another example. Now here we take the speed of light. See the speed of light we all know. Okay, it has been measured as 3 into 10 raised to power 8. Okay, but notice that I am only taking one significant figure here. In the speed of light, I have taken just one significant figure, which is 3. So I chose to reduce the accuracy, although I know the speed of light to great accuracy, but for doing the computation of whatever reasons, I just take only one significant figure here. And then uh, what I'm trying to determine is the distance traveled by light in one year, which is the uh, value of one light year. Okay, So that is the distance traveled by light in one year. This is the in meter per second. So I need to find out the number of second in one year. So how, what is the number of second in one year? You can also do the computation, but it comes out to be 
let's say that we take we computed this and this came out to be uh, 1.3.1557 uh, into 10 raised to power 7 okay so that is what it is and in this case this has actually five significant figures now the problem here is that because i have chosen the speed of light to only have three significant uh, only have one significant figure that is what i have chosen I, it is my choice i could have taken a larger uh, precision uh, speed of light value my final answer therefore in this case would be limited to only one significant figure right so you might think that the speed of light is a constant but uh, speed of light is a constant that is correct we know it to great precision that is correct but still if i do not take all the precision available to me for the computation of speed of light if i if i reduce the precision then i am limited by uh, this particular constant this speed of light constant which is here so to to be limited to not be limited by the speed of light i would have to take a greater precision value which would of course uh, increase the amount of computation which i need to do and suppose i i don't really want to do that then then of course uh, i i only choose one significant figure here and five significant figure here and because i have chosen only one significant figure here my final answer will have only one significant figure so let's just compute this value so we can compute this value and this comes out to be 9.467 into 10 raised to power 15 meters okay so with that now we understand that because this answer it only we only need to keep one significant figure here we'll do the necessary rounding so what we'll do is that we'll look at this four okay and then we'll see that this particular four uh, will actually just be there and we will just write it as 9 and we only have to keep one significant figure therefore this will become 10 raised to power 15 meters and that would be our answer okay so the rules for rounding again go back to them and, and look at it we, we 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 are only we only want to keep one significant figure so we look at the next number the next number is less than 5 so we discard everything after that so we we completely reject all of this and we are left with only 9 uh, because that is the one answer in one significant figures okay so this was a this last example was slightly a uh, bit confusing and the point i want to get across is that constants we assume them to have infinite precision but in doing that in, in doing the calculations we have to take make use of that infinite precision otherwise they become the limiting factor for determining the significant figure in our answer okay so that is the thing that we want to uh, uh, i wanted to get across in the, those two examples now let us look at what happens to the uh, significant figures when we are doing the uh, computation of division let's just uh, understand it with an example uh, of course now what we will do is that we'll do a slightly more complicated calculation and we will try to find the density of a cube so the density of the cube we have been given its weight as 4.2 gram and the side is 1.36 okay centimeters so that that is that is something already given to us so what we'll do is that we will we know the density will be equal to the weight divided by the volume so volume of this cube is 1.36 the whole cube okay and this answer will be equal to in in gram per centimeter cube now this is very very clear okay so this this there is no doubt here that we, this will give us the density and the final answer uh, would of course only have two significant figures because in this is a case of multiplication and division and all the among all the operands this 4.2 has the least number of significant figures it has only two whereas this operand it has three okay and and that is actually not one operand but three operands 1.36 into 1.36 into 1.36 but all of those three operands have the significant figures three significant figures okay so that is larger than two so i'm limited my answer will be limited uh, in accuracy because of uh, this my numerator which only has two significant figures so if you compute this answer then this answer will come out to be 1.66 and, and so on and so forth uh, 7 gram per centimeter cube okay and of course we need to limit it to two decimal places so i will just do the proper rounding and this will come out to be 1.7 gram per centimeter cube now this was the 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 way and this is the preferred way we just do the computation in one go 
but suppose we didn't do it like this we calculated the first the volume and that became our uh, intermediate calculation okay suppose i first wanted to compute the volume separately and then i will of course use the formula rho is the the density is equal to mass by volume okay but i want to do this intermediate calculation i want to find out this volume first okay this is not our preferred way we would do the calculation like this this is the preferred way okay this is how we would do the calculation because it gives us the opportunity to cut the various factors simplify things we are not using uh, calculators in the exam so of course that would be our preferred way we can uh, cut the various factors in the fraction in the fraction and then simplify that way but let us suppose we were doing the computation of volume first the thing that i want to bring across is that when we do this computation although our final answer would have two significant figures in this computation we will retain one more significant figure than our final answer so we would do this calculation to three significant figures and that is another rule that we retain one more significant figure in all the intermediate steps so if our final answer needs to be only to two significant figures in all the intermediate steps we will retain three significant figures okay so those are the Uh, three uh, rules basically the same rule for multiplication and division and then the uh, rule for intermediate steps that you need to understand hopefully things are clear do many more numericals on, on this and uh, we have several solved problems on door step tutor so definitely visit that website it's a useful resource thank you